You may have heard a lot of this kind of noise last couple of days in Fort Myers. These are crews with FPL. They're out clearing the vegetation before the storm hits. I'm senior reporter Ryan Kruger. I spoke with FPL crews about what they're doing right now to try to keep the lights on in Southwest Florida. You could call it the sound of preparation. Crews with Florida Power and Light took to the sky this week. With trimmers in hand, the crews cleared away the branches on some trees near power lines in Fort Myers. It's one of many steps that FPL says they're making before Helene arrives. Clearing vegetation from our power lines, trees can be the number one cause of power outages. So we are prepping our system, making sure that we're ready, our crews are ready, and we can respond to it. FPL says they have thousands of employees, contractors, and out-of-state crews stationed throughout the state. In all, there are 18 sites in the Sunshine State where crews are already in position and waiting. Those in-community sites allow us to have our crews, equipment, technology in place and ready so that as soon as it's safe to do so, we can get out in the field and get those lights back on. In Cape Coral, LCEC says they've secured out-of-state contractors and vegetation crews to work alongside local crews if needed. The power co-op plans to put workers on 12-hour shifts until all power is finally restored. Governor Ron DeSantis, speaking in Tampa, said Florida's pre-storm preparations have historically helped keep power outages to a minimum. If you look at some of our most recent storms, you've had significant outages in terms of the number of customers, but the length in which they were out has been historically low. One big safety tip, never approach a downed power line, and any customers that are dependent on electric-powered medical equipment should have plans for backup power. Ryan Kruger, Fox 4.